In this video, I'm going to talk about the terms haploid and diploid. Um, so in the last video, we talked about homologous pairs. Our chromosomes typically come in pairs. And so because they come in pairs, most of our cells are what we consider diploid. And so a diploid cell is a cell with both sets of homologous chromosomes. You should note that that di prefix in diploid means two. Okay. Um, therefore, uh, diploid literally means two sets, and we will sometimes refer to a diploid cell as being 2n. If you think of n as a variable, this is always uh, the sort of number of types of chromosomes you have. This is the number of pairs or number of sets or I guess number of pairs and uh, chromosomes in a set. So that's the number of chromosomes in a set. Our n number would be 23 for humans. Therefore, our 2n number is going to be 46, which is our diploid number when we have all of our sets of chromosomes. So therefore, for us, that's a cell with 46 chromosomes. There are, um, at certain times in our life cycle, where we have haploid cells. Um, a haploid cell is a cell that contains only a single set of chromosomes and therefore a single set of genes, haploid meaning one set. And if diploid was 2n, Haploid is just n, so our n number, as mentioned before, is 23. That's the number of different chromosomes in a set. So our normal body cells, which we also call somatic cells, our body cells are 2n, diploid. How do we possibly make more 2n cells? We do that through mitosis, which we studied in the past. Again, mitosis, we created identical daughter cells. And so we went from 2N to 2N. Chromosome number stayed the same. Everything stayed the same. That was mitosis. However, our sex cells, egg and sperm cells, will have N number of chromosomes. They have half the total chromosome number. So we need to basically go from 2N to N. And we do that via a process called meiosis. Uh, so meiosis is the process by which the number of chromosomes in every cell is cut in half. So we go from 2N as a diploid cell to N, a haploid cell. And they do this through the separation of homologous chromosomes. Now remember, the fact that you're 2N means that you have homologous pairs. If you separate and no longer have those pairs, you are now haploid. And meiosis actually includes two divisions. And instead of the two cells you get in mitosis, you get four cells produced in meiosis.